after each uh, group of students get off at the end of each route, uh, we'll go through with our spray bottle, spray and wipe all the seats down, the handrails getting onto the bus. Uh, anything else that we can wipe down, we will. It's safety for them, but assigned seats, the younger ones need more attention than the older ones because we can talk to them and they understand what we're trying to tell them about staying in their seats, hands to themselves, feet and legs out of the aisle. Breakfast, we're doing, well, it's called grab and go, but actually it's delivery. We're taking out food carts. We're going uh, through all three levels of the high school, go to each classroom, say, who wants breakfast? Lunch, a little bit different. Kids are gonna come down here, eat in the cafeteria. So we're gonna socially distance. We're gonna wear masks when they're being served. Uh, all food product will be uh, individually wrapped or, and or covered, so there's no exposure there. I, I've been in the restaurant business for a long time. I've never worked with a group of people like our lunch ladies here that are so conscientious about uh, safety and health. Uh, they'll do everything they can to make sure panthers and tigers are safe. I, I guarantee you that. If we have any symptoms of COVID, um, we'll have to have them in isolation. So if they send a, st send a student down, we'll put them um, in our back office, which has a door. Um, we will assess that student. And then if we believe that they need to be sent home, we will send them home um, or call a parent to have them picked up. This year, they're going to have to come to the outside of the door, knock on the door. Our door will be, be remaining closed this year and locked we'll administer the medication from the door. Every day you're supposed to just evaluate yourself before you come to school. Um, check to see, do you notice yourself, do you have a headache that you haven't normally felt before, um, something that's uncommon to you? Um, if you're feeling a little bit dizzy or lightheaded, that's a sign that, that would say that maybe you need to take your temperature. If you have a cold starting, um, sore throat, all of those are symptoms that we would have to send you home because of. So we built in some processes to make sure that all of our school areas are being cleaned. Uh, there's a checklist that you'll notice that is posted on doors and we've increased the frequency that our classrooms and our restrooms are being cleaned. We've also shifted some of our work around so that we have one of our evening custodians coming in earlier which will allow for more real-time cleaning and for there to be support when students are present. We've consulted with our HVAC folks and we've been able to double the amount of outside air that's flowing into the buildings, which hopefully uh, provides a safer environment as students are getting more fresh air. A lot of work has gone on at both the district level, obviously, and here um, at the school level. Um, in terms of universal precautions. And so um, beginning with the signage that you'll see throughout the building, um, both signage regarding uh, precautions, hand washing, social distancing, um, directionals in terms of um, arrows in the hallway so that students know um, what direction the traffic is flowing. We are doing one-way traffic flow um, to avoid the crossover. Um, we're also um, following the county guidelines regarding masks and requiring that all students and staff and persons in the building um, do wear masks um, at all times. Um, we've also done a number of things around social distancing, um, both in the classroom. Um, teachers will have assigned seats in the classroom so that um, students have as much as possible a very limited movement and we can contain those safety zones and that social distancing. And as a part of um, our precautions as well, um, we will be limiting our visitors to by appointment only. All of those are in place. We're excited to have kids back um, and we'll be doing everything we can uh, in our power to ensure that um, we are social distanced, that we are washing hands, that we are wearing masks. Um, we have hand sanitizers in every classroom and all of the common spaces. So uh, we look forward to putting all those things in place and having our kids back real soon.